Hey guys, um, so I know I had said at one point I was probably not going to be doing any more fan updates in the youth center basement. Well, I mean, obviously that didn't hold up. Uh, as you can see, I took down the um, the one Seabrook Hill uh, that had the red facing blades um, that was in the center room. Um, I'm pretty sure the capacitor is bad in it. It's going really slow, and I, I actually have got another fan that I think was a better option, so I'll take that up to work on at some point. But I figured I would do a uh, updated tour uh, since there are a couple fan uh, adjustments slash additions. Um, front room, nothing's different. Um, we got the two Sierras and the gazebo, all doing well. Now center room, um, the uh, we've got the Georgian. That's still uh, where it was. It's doing really well. The white original, which I've got on low right now. The um, Donovan Parker original, which has also been a real champ, things very powerful. And there was a Seabrook Hill over there, well, you know, I swapped it out for a SMC DC-52. Um, I got this from uh, Gabe Justice at Fanimations past, uh, this past trip, and um, yeah, I actually think this thing looks pretty cool. Um, it needed a little bit of TLC. Um, a couple of the cane, cane inserts were damaged or missing, so I had to replace them. Um, luckily, with all those uh, DC-52s from the Sanctuary, a few of which ended up becoming parts fans, I was able to source a couple of replacements, uh, which are a perfect fit. And then I added the round globe to it, um, just you know, so we have a light source over here. And you can see you got the SMC fobs on there, because of course it does. I think those might have been on Sanctuary fans originally. Um, but yeah, no, it's a really cool fan. I um, I think it's a good a basement candidate. It's not perfect cosmetic condition, but it runs really well and bearings are good. And this is a vast improvement over the Zebra Kill that was uh, kind of struggling here. So I think this will be a good fan uh, to take its place. But anyway, um, figure I will show that. Let's see, it's a little tricky getting over here. There it is low. I believe this one's from 1995, maybe 94, 95, I can't remember for sure. It's an interesting kind of transition model because it has, um, it still has the detachable switch housing like the older ones did, but it has the uh, skinnier blades, which was more of a later one. So this was right in the middle before they um, swapped to the more standard uh, switch housing with a switch cap. A little bit of hum from it, but I mean, that's to be expected. No bearing noise whatsoever. Very good bearings. I think the round globe looks really good on it. Nothing crazy powerful, but you feel a little something from it. All right, let's go to medium. A little bit of buzz, but you know for the course. Okay, and go to high. As is the case with a lot of uh, SMCs, especially DC-52s, the uh, pum kind of smooths out on high. But yeah, I'm very impressed by the bearings on this, because, I mean, it doesn't even have the, like, swirly bearing sound like almost every SMC does. It's just absolutely great bearings, so. Yeah, really neat looking fan. I think it's a good, good, uh, Good replacement fan for this spot. Had to get a little creative with the mounting. It's uh, the canopy normally would be the type that holds the fan, like it, you know, it would actually be a structural canopy. Um, but it's actually a generic ball socket under there, and then I just used the screws on the outer edge of that bracket to hold the stock canopy up. Um, it didn't have a mounting bracket, but actually looks pretty much factory from, from what you can see. But yeah, really nice fan. I like it. Um, I had a pretty important childhood install of a white and brass DC-42, um, which is, you know, the same thing except four blade and 42 inch, um, and a Dairy Queen. In fact, I believe the fan's still there to this day, um, and that was, uh, 
definitely one of my favorites as a kid. So I always like seeing um, this era of uh, SMC, you know, the black motor ones and white and brass. It's very, very childhood for me. And then I turned this one off so it wouldn't detract from the airflow because this one's such a beast. Turn that back to its low, which is really medium. And then let's put this on medium as well. So now you get kind of a, there's the two originals with the SMC all running. Hard to get them all in one shot, but it's where to see it. And then the Georgian usually just stays on low. So, yeah, no, I think that I think that looks really good. Very nice runner. Honestly, there there is an off chance we may end up putting this in the museum. Um, but and if that's the case, I'll probably try to find something else that's white because I just realized tonight that now we have all white fans down here. It, well, in this, at least in this room. I mean, I guess that one's kind of white and brass-ish, and that's white and brass as well, but I mean, this is the only not white fan, so if, I, if we end up putting this somewhere else, I'll probably put up, find another like kind of white or white and brass fan to take its place. So, all right. Um, so that's it for this room. That's new, everything else is the same. And then in this room, uh, there's a couple updates. Uh, you notice right away, we have yet another fan in this room, so we're now up to four. Harbor Breeze Lakeside 2, Seabrook Hill, Hunter Low Profile 2, and now a Heritage Lancaster. Um, I got this from uh, Bradley Anderson at Fanimation this past uh, trip, and I know this is kind of a, you know, it's a bare bones kind of fan, but I uh, this was another childhood model. There was a uh, Subway restaurant that had a couple of these when I was really little. Um, those got replaced by, you know, the Regencies in the mid 2000s. And then it's actually no longer even a subway. So I, I don't even think it has fans now, but it's definitely neat to see these. Um, and I know they're, they're cheapos, but still kind of cool. It actually fits the bill for this room quite well. Cause I mean, pretty much everything else is a flush mount brass, you know, I guess the Hunter's mid range, but everything else is pretty cheapo. Um, so it actually kind of fits the theme in this room pretty well. And as you can see, I got it flush mounted. And yeah, I mean, it's in pretty good shape. Um, the bearings were a little stiff when I first uh, looked at it. Um, I actually did oil the top bearing and that really took care of the problem. Seems to be nice and smooth now. So, all right, let's go ahead and go through the speeds. Um, this one's from 1994, but I don't remember if I mentioned that. Got it on, I put it on low. I've got the uh, Seabrook Hill off just because that one hums quite a bit. I didn't want to distract from this one for this video, this video at least. Yeah, bearings are definitely worn on this one, but it is pretty smooth now. I'm actually kind of surprised it took me this long to put a fan right there because A, I mean, we've got, you know, we've got two on this side, now we have two on this side, but that uh, vent, right, that actually vents outside. So, you know, occasionally I'll get some kind of muggy, moist air coming in there and this helps, you know, dry things out for sure. Pretty good low speed. Not doing anything crazy air movement wise, but I mean, it's a little something. Yeah, this is one of those cheapo fans I just happen to really like. All right. And there is medium. It's, you know, it's got a little bit of running hum to it, but you know, it's to be expected. I, uh, I didn't have any polished brass light kits on hand, um, so I'll, next time I find one, you know, especially one that's in cruddier shape, I'll definitely be uh, sticking a light on this, uh, you know, because you can see every other fan in here has some sort of light on it. Um, just didn't have any polished brass ones on hand, so I didn't put a light on it for now. But uh, it's, obviously it's got the light lead in there ready to go, so I just gotta find one and add it. Pretty average medium. I'm impressed the blades are not warped really because a lot of times on these heritages they would warp. I have a feeling being down here they may warp a little just because of the mugginess, but I mean having it running all the time will definitely help. 
I will say I'm impressed the hum's not worse than it is. I mean, it's a little something, but I, I think the Zebra Kill is actually worse than this one. Okay, and straight high. You can kind of hear the swirly bearing sound now. Yeah, they give it a little oil on the top bearing, which definitely freed it up. That balanced really nice too. Yeah, nothing crazy air movement wise. I mean, you're getting a little something off it. I'd say it's it's on par with the uh, Saber Kill over there, about the same as that. And then I guess I'll go ahead and put everything else in this room to high, just so we can kind of do a show the max air movement you can get in this room. Oh, and while things are winding up, I actually did make a slight adjustment here as well. Um, I ended up switching that light bulb out for a spotlight. Uh, so now it just kind of looks like a spotlight on the uh, fuse panel, which I thought was kind of a neat idea. So it was just a regular like A19 style LED in there before. Um, that kind of almost makes it look like a light fixture, so I think that was a neat idea. But anyway, here is everything on full blast. The um, the low profile is definitely the fastest. I don't know if this one's on higher. It almost looks like it might not be. Oh, it was not. Yeah, okay, that's high. I was gonna say it looked a little slow. Yeah, there we go. probably do a uh, schoolhouse on this one to kind of mirror that one some because these both have like multi-light kids just gotta find a uh, polished brass footer so yeah not bad at all and as it means you can see this I mean it's, it, this usually would get kind of muddy but you can see this ground's perfectly dry with all these fans running definitely is helping and I don't remember if I showed I've actually got an incandescent bulb in, in here right now because why not? 75 watt, I think. So, yeah, and I mean, I'll probably, we'll, we'll, we can do like a mass speed and spin down thing maybe one day, and or somebody else is here to help me with that. Um, but I just wanted to guys show you guys the updates. So, and not much else going on, but. the uh, Nick Gamboa Sierras. Once again, look at that, perfectly dry. Well, uh, thanks guys for watching, and uh, who knows, there may be more may be more updates. Who knows, maybe there will, maybe there won't. But as always, bye fans, stick, and thanks for watching. Um, real quick addendum to the uh, Youth Center update, I forgot to show this. Um, I got this kind of cool, um, I guess they're uh, the floral globe from uh, Blake Zabarak uh, when he came up to Wisconsin. Um, and I actually thought it would look pretty nice on this view fan here, so I switched that out. And, so I think it looks pretty cool. Um, it's a little, uh, it's a little bit of a smaller, like schoolhouse, you know, globe profile. So you know, complements the smaller fan a little bit, a little bit better. And uh, just figured I'd show that. Looks kind of neat. So thanks for watching.